Hey people, welcome back. In last lecture of Vue CLI, we left with something like this. We had our server running and we opened our project in browser with the URL of localhost colon 8080. Actually, I decided to teach you first component, but as we created this project using Vue CLI, first you need to understand the folder structure. So let's go over there. Okay, so in here we have three folders node modules, public, source, and some files, eight files. Okay, so what is node modules? Let's go editor. Okay, here. So in our view test, what is node modules? Let's just skip that first. Let's go our public now. Public is where your index file will be, and this one is favicon now this index.html is actually an html file and as you can see here the comment build files will be auto injected and this is the folder we are not going to work with the folder we are going to work with is source src now what this folder contains the first folder in this folder is assets Assets folder will contain all your assets like images, CSS, JavaScript, or if you are using preprocessor like SAS, then all that stuff will go in assets. As you can see, logo.png. Now let's close this and let's go over this components folder. So we already learning about components, but we don't know what's components and how it works yet. So component is a part of your app if you don't already know so this is single component hello world which is pre-made when you use view cli so you don't have to understand all this code we are going to delete this okay so close this components we will work on that later don't worry about that i will teach you everything now down there you have app.view and this is the main view file and in here if you just forget about this one this one and this one this is simple html your template tag which we will talk about later okay this template tag is different from that template tag in the next lecture of components i will teach you what this template tag mean and in this template tag we have deep with the id of app which is really important and then I just have simple logo. So now if I save it and my browser, it is auto reloading because of hot reload. So as you can see, I removed that hello world component and some styling. And now I only have these images. Sorry, I only have this image. So I get this view image, which is coming from this assets logo.png as we defined it in our source. So this is your main view file and one more thing these view files which are component are created using dot view extensions as you can see here app dot view and if you look in these we have hello world dot view now let's go over naming convention you should always use pascal case so as we can see in hello world dot view I have two words hello and world and that's why we have h capital in hello and w capital in world and so the file name will be hello world dot view now let's go down in main dot js and this is your main javascript file you can say which will have some imports it will first import view from view and this is case sensitive so be sure to use small view and capitalized view now down there we have app we are importing app from app.view then i have view.config.productionT set to false which we are going to ignore for now and then we have this new view instance using new view and we are passing some parameters and this render means this render line means hey what I just imported here use that and render it for me and what this mount do 
please mount in here d with the id of app and that's why we have mount hash app so now whatever we write in here inside of this d with the id of app is controlled by view just like we used it in js fiddle the difference is now we have whole folder to work with so in your view cli project you have two main files main.js and app.view now down here dot browser list rc which is stuff related to browser support so we are not going into that next is eslint which is used uh, no we don't have any error so i can't show you that let's make one now okay we are not getting that all right don't worry we will get in near future so what this yes lint file is if you see in my previous lecture or if you set up our project using view cli already then you have known that in that setup process we get option for eslint and if you make any mistakes which looks like errors to eslint then it will throw an error in this console okay so we will don't go in that step also then git ignore you already know what is git ignore it will ignore these files now babel config this is the same as eslint and browser list so let's skip package lock you already work with all this so i don't have to explain this packet lock then packet.json your packages then post css and in here we have used auto prefixer and we have this post css.config.js because we selected keep configuration in separate files so if you don't find this file please check packet.json now let's go over readme this will be for git so this is the folder structure of newly created view cli project in the next lecture we will see how to register global components and then how to use local components and don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out channel update i will upload that soon see you bye